Hello and welcome to my channel. We are doing WDS Squad Battles Eagles Strike tonight. And this is something that my dear friend Augie, who has a channel, of course, on YouTube as well, he was looking forward to. So this is for you, mate. It is towards St. Lo. Now, let us get set up. I hope you are all doing well tonight. Uh, I see that we have a few viewers waiting, so I hope you all had a fantastic day. And of course, let's hope that tonight is going to be fantastic as well with our stream here. But towards St. Lo, <clears throat> we have finished with the June the 6th, and we're on to July the 13th. Hey, Bill. How are you doing, buddy? I hope you are doing well, my friend. But yes, it is July 13th, 1944. 0900 hours near Le Carillon, Normandy, France. Two miles from St. Lo. So we're not in St. Lo yet. So play only from the US side. Okay, that's what we're going to be doing. And the advance towards St. Lo was a slow and bloody affair with solid German defenses assisted by the Bocage. The 2nd Battalion of the 137th was attacking south, split by stream. The battalion had a section of 81mm mortars and a platoon of heavy machine guns attached, with a platoon of medium tanks made available. That is all the information we have. The sources center of military history. So let us get started. We are, of course, going to be playing as the U.S. And we have smoke limit of 24. We have to remember to utilize that, because I do tend to forget. <clears throat> so let us zoom out a little bit, because there is a lot to see. There is indeed. First things first, let us have a look at the victory conditions. So the victory conditions, we see that major victory is achieved by having 50 plus points. <clears throat> and a draw is achieved by having 11 points. So these are the two marks we should be aiming for. If we zoom in, we see that the three objectives are 20, 20 and 20 points. Gives us 60 points altogether. So in most likelihood, we do need to capture those objectives in order to achieve major victory. Because we will have a lot of losses, we will cause a lot of losses as well, hopefully anyway. But those objectives would be crucial. <clears throat> now, a little more. Let us have a look if we have any scheduled. No, no units scheduled to arrive. None have arrived this turn. Any releases, no releases, and any scheduled withdrawals, none. Well, hello, hello again, Ascari. Welcome back. Good evening to you, my friend. I hope you had a lovely day so far. Now. So, <clears throat> going back to the game. There are no releases. There are no arrivals. Meaning that the troops we have are the troops we are going to be working with. And what a great bunch they are. I feel like we have a full company. Let us just have a quick look. So, looking here, we have four tanks. Interesting, interesting. Over here, who is in command, right. So what is going on here? We have attached mortars. We have 12 men with a specialist bazooka team. We have another 12 men. Hold up. Hold up. This is a bit more than a platoon of men, is it? This is quite a bit more than a single platoon of men. So, <clears throat> let us have a look. Right, this looks like... So, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, so this is a single platoon. 
And this is another platoon. And this. So this is actually a full company down south. Hello, Luca. Good evening to you too, my man. Right, so we have a full company down south. I assume we have a full company in the middle also. Uh, we do indeed. Wow. And we have a full company up north. Of course, we do have supporting teams, support teams as well. So like mortars, bazookas, and of course, HMGs. HMGs are juicy. Wow. Okay. That is... So there is one, there is another one, there is the third one. Wow. We have a lot of toys to work with tonight, guys. <clears throat> this is gonna be quite an epic advance. But let's have a look at the map. So let us have a look at a 3D view, first of all, just to have a kind of general overview of what is going on here. Right, so a lot of bakaj. Of course, we can see it is everywhere. The most noticeable feature is, of course, the river, the stream, uh, the stream, the stream <laughs> that is splitting uh, the map in twain. Uh, really, two thirds up top. There are two streams, but I don't see how the northern part is going to be all that relevant, even though it is at a bit of an elevation. But we we shall get back to that. The center, of course, with three objectives, and the southern parts. The southern part has no objectives, but we do see already some German positions here and there. So let us actually zoom out to 2D view now. And what 2D view tells us is that that has already been reported. It looks like an American team. But if we look here, it's there. Panzerschreck. And if we actually look here, we cannot, we cannot, when I right click, see any of their details. So they're definitely German. And in the 3D view, it is a German position. But that is not what I wanted you to see. So over here, we can clearly see how the terrain falls down. So all the way up to the west, the terrain goes up, 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 up the hills. So we're going to be attacking up the hill all the time. That is not good. We're going to attack, be attacking through Bocage and through, of course, orchards all the time as well. And while the stream is not a big stream, it's definitely a possible stream. The issue we are having here is that this is going to slow us down moving men up to the center and down south, if necessary. <sighs> this is going to be tricky. I'm, I'm already kind of seeing a lot of issues. So, let us have a look at what is possible to be seen from what I assume would be entrenched posi positions of the Germans right on the edge of the hill there. So elevation 100 meters, we go down elevation 94 meters immediately, so 6 meters difference. They pretty much have an eye out all the way there. This is actually pretty good. We can use this bocage to move up here. So the central position might be something that would be easier to assault. And here, of course, is a perfect entrenchment for mortars, for HMGs, and anything heavier that they might have. I do not know if they have any guns. And I'm talking about, of course, field guns, AT guns, things like that, pack guns, <clears throat> etc. But if they did have them, this... These two hexes would be where I would put them. Issue is that this has a perfect overview 
of our central approach as well. Funnily enough, it doesn't have that great of an overview of the southern approach. So one way to remedy the situation might be to push south and then come at it from this way across the stream with our southern force. So let us just have a quick look. So we have we have a third platoon up north. And I assume, where is our man here? G Company, 2nd Battalion, 137th Regiment. Right, so that's a G Company. That is... Where is the leader? Right, there we go. This is an F Company in the center, and we have an A Able Company down south. So let us mark him out, just so that we kind of know what is what. Oops, that is wrong. There we go. And let's commence our finger painting, shall we? So, we have Able Company down south. We have, what was it? Where Where is the Silverman? Foxtrot Company in the center. And we have... G, is it golf? Is it G? I think it's golf. It was golf in the World War II as well. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong. So we have golf up north, foxtrot in the center, and able in the on the south. So what would be our kind of scheme of advance here? Let's remove that for a second. So Foxtrot does need to move up and take this objective. That is a must. I reckon we're gonna be using this. Let's, let's just let's mark this out. We have this bocage here. And we're gonna be using that to move our men up. Establish FSG here and then advance with our assault team. One would be, actually, you know what? No, We are not gonna be doing this. Uh, we're gonna infiltrate the Bokash here and hit him from there and hit him from there, unless there is a Bokash there as well. There is actually, so that is not gonna go. And Casey's Locks, Fox, Foxtrot is modern, and George, and hello, hello, hello to you too, Casey. Thank you so much. So, uh, yes, so Fox uh, would have been World War II, and yes, Foxtrot is definitely modern. Uh, what is it? Uh, the, the, the I'm having a brain freeze, but whatever the alphabet is called, yes. <laughs> so, yes, Abel, Fox, and... Golf. If is it was it golf? Something like that. Anyway. Anywho, anywho, right. Let us have a gander at this. So the probably the best way to assault would be from the south. Golf, yeah. I don't think it's gold today. I'm pretty sure it's still golf, man. Uh pretty sure it's still golf. Alpha Bravo, Echo, Romeo, Juliet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's golf, yeah. Oh, you mistyped it. Yeah, no worries. No worries at all. But anywho, anywho, uh, let's let's uh, have a have a further uh, right, we are here. So we might need to attack through the Bocage. If we do, we're gonna go straight through. But I'm hoping that we do not, and we just use the southern position. If worse comes to worse, maybe not going through the center per se, but going up on top of the hill and striking down would be better here. Um, we're, we're talking kind of very specific tactics to take that position. In the north, it is a pretty open country. So we'll get back to the north for a second. In the south, we can use up these V 
villages to kind of hunker down and try and get eyes up out that way and of course towards anything that might be coming down this road here but i reckon that after we have established these fsgs fire support groups we are gonna send our assault element into these uh, orchards and then through the orchards across the river or stream into these orchards and we're gonna strike from the southwest again this is only given what kind of information we have so far right now north is a little bit exposed and just to show you how exposed they pretty much have overview of everything here i do not like this so let me just mark this down they have an overview of yeah, come on, stop pressing all the buttons. Of everything here. Now, so because of that, I feel like the obvious advance would be through this bocage here and that way. Now, if I was Germans, because of this is so obvious, I would mine the crap out of this. So maybe, maybe that's exactly what is happening here. The other way to advance would be to strike up north, use the road, and insert ourselves from the north, and we might split our forces. We can set up our team's fire support groups, groups using the bocage all the way here and hopefully establish fire superiority towards this position. So that's pretty much our plan. What can we see from Germans? Well, we can see one, two and three positions. Where there is one position, there surely are more positions. They're most likely here, here, they definitely gonna be holding the objectives as well. If I was them, I would set up positions here, probably here as well, and definitely here. This is not gonna be a cake, cakewalk. This is going to be quite hard. Our ace in the hole, of course. Our platoon of tanks. Again, the most obvious way would be to roll up and just strike into the objective. Once that is taken, take a road up, strike there and move into the bacage and strike there as well. Is this going to be possible? We shall see. We only have four Shermans. If any of them die, well, we going to be so much more reduced. This is enough of our finger painting. Well, actually, no, there is a one more step I want to discuss. If I was the Germans, what would I do? What sort of setup would I have? <sighs> I'd probably have some rear positions. So where is my... Right. So I would probably have some rear positions. Probably here. Maybe here. Maybe here basically responding to whatever place needs support. I might have something here, because this is on the hill, and if we can have a look at the view distances, actually this isn't that great. They, they have some overview of the field, but not that much at all. 
but definitely have like a QRF, quick response force, would be behoove them to be somewhere here, here and there, right? What else can the Germans have? Apart from the front line, they might have something in the orchards here and here as well to reinforce or be a second line of defense. I reckon that's pretty much their setup, so they would have kind of fire support groups on top of the hills with some trenches occupying the objectives and the round objectives themselves with maybe some force as a QRF. Right, and of course they would probably... I mean, the smart money would be to amass a big striking force in the south, move up and annihilate my able company allowing them to create what is called an L-shape. And what L-shape is, it's something like this. Basically shooting from here and from here also. Basically not a good idea. So we can expect them to strike there if this is scripted. Of course, we do have to remember that we're playing against an AI, so this might not happen. But we shall see, we shall see. So, let's remove all of that, let's forget everything we have just said, and I see, like the last time, my camera just died for some reason, and I do not know why this is happening. Right, can you see me again? You should be able to. Right, because yesterday I did not notice that, and thankfully I have noticed it today. Alrighty, <clears throat> so let us get started. Let us get started. So, we'll start with the south. What do these men see? Not much. They probably have something here. They gotta, they gotta have something there, right? So, let us do the following. Mortars see jack squat. So let us get up. That does not mean there is nothing there. It just means that we have just crested a hill and we do not see anything there yet. Maybe there is nothing there. We're gonna go to ground. Right over here. Excellent. And again, we are going to ground. So, who are these men? These men are second platoon. First, second and third squads, of course, with an attached MMG. And a bazooka specialist team. So, let us do this. We are overstocking a little bit and this might be a mistake, but this is gonna be probably our assault force. We want to take this hill. We will probably want to locate ourselves in securing this bacage in these orchards. So that's their first tasking. So that second platoon is tasked to secure that. That would be a perfect FSG position if that is needed. Alternatively, we would have an FSG support, uh, fire support group over here as well. Now, HQ element, of course, and the first platoon, no, that's a third platoon, would probably occupy this area over here, so let's do that. And we will not be going to ground with them. Because that should... Ah, we just crested the bocage, right? Also, let's just do this. To remember to do this. 
Right. And over here. Let's keep our officers close. Now, first platoon. First platoon is gonna secure this village. Once secured, they're gonna get eyes on this position and start providing supporting fire as soon as they can. So let them do so. Hmm. All right. Yeah, might be, might be overstocking them here, but looks like nobody has eyes that way. So we should be fine. We should be fine. So that's our southern uh, Foxtrot company has moved. So on to is it Abel? No, that, that was Able Company, right. Able Company has moved. Foxtrot Company is gonna be moving next. Let us test the waters here. I am not surprised. What have we uncovered? An MG-34, a medium machine gun, or maybe it's considered as a heavy machine gun configuration, but I'd say this is still a medium setup. Probably three man team, but they might have more men there. So can we move one more? We cannot. So we're gonna go to ground. Would have been nice if we can crest the hill, but we can't. So that is fine. And I reckon we can overstack a little bit because nobody sees this. So that is fine. It's not like this position that is overlooked from two points. Mm, they have a full squad there with a, well, probably an, a lieutenant. Right. Second platoon. Second platoon is gonna move up here. And... It's not ideal, but they might strike through this bocage. They might go. This is like a killing field, but let's let's move our men here first, right? Let us let us move the second platoon up and see what happens later. At least we can attempt to take the road. And this is our third platoon. Who are these people? This is an HMG, right? Probably this is the best place for it. So this is, of course, an HMG support team attached to company. It does not belong to... Well, it's actually from H uh, ho Hotel Company. So not even a Foxtrot company that we have here. Well... Well, 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 uh, let's have a look. And mortar section is weapons, platoon, fox company, right? Okay. So uh, let's start moving up. We don't need to have them on the ground because nobody should be having eyes on them. And even mortars don't need to be on the ground here. Right, so our Fox, uh, Fox company moved up. Let's take a look at who were these men. Uh, these were golf. Golf indeed. So, uh, the men of the second platoon would have have a dubious pleasure moving through this corridor here. How much of a success would that be? I do not know, but they will have, well, hotel attached support team with an HMG with a 30 cal 
following them and probably establishing something of a fire support position over here. First platoon. First platoon is gonna go up. They're gonna be striking up. Now. We want our mortars probably somewhere here. That overlooks two different objectives. So let us get our mortars that away, shall we? Now over here, since a three quarters ton truck has been provided, we shall be using that. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be going through Bocage all that well. Oh well, <laughs> right. But we want to place them over here, basically. This, this is going to be where our mortars are located. I think that's going to be a good support position for them. Now, Hotel Company support team is going to be moving up together with our first platoon. And HQ element and I suppose third platoon are gonna get up. They're gonna be moving towards the center and will play it by ear after that. I think that is the best course of action at least for now. Why why are you still on the ground? There we go. All right. Well, on to our tanks. We probably want to move up tanks at least to here and maybe test waters here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what we can do. Panzerfaust 60. Oh dearie, oh dearie, let's just have a quick schnoozle, because I do forget what is the dimensions of each hex, so... That should be in in here, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. How long is a piece of string? Well, it's as long as one hex in the Squad Battles games. No, we do not have that info. Does anybody know in the chat? I would be really appreciative if you do have that information. I feel like it's 50 meters. I, I almost feel like it's 50 meters, but I might be wrong. Uh, one sec, one sec. Let's, let's do a quick look. Quick search here. And... Uh, Hex. Mm -hmm. X, X, X. New. Ah, well. Ah, well. In any case, I reckon Panzerfaust 60, so 60 denotes the amount of uh, meters the Panzerfaust can shoot up to. 60 is an improved version, early war, definitely seen uh, Panzerfaust 30s only, and then they have developed Panzerfaust 60. So <clears throat> we can assume it's definitely strikes, next hex, maybe hex after. I feel like this is 50 meters. 
dimensions per from hex side to hex side, if I'm not mistaken. So it might be up to two hexes, but definitely one hex away. So we shall push our luck and we shall move up. That is the only reason we were calculating that, right? The only reason. Right. Let's see if our column of Shermans gonna get it. But that is our turn done. Turn one has been completed, so let's let's reduce that. Saint Low. Alright. And let us start receiving some mortar fire immediately. And let's just increase the speed a little bit. So we already lost one man. We have a pinned squad. At least a squad. We have a lot of disrupted. Oh, lots of men being lost. Now, thankfully, even though we have received a lot of fire, sorry, even though we have received a lot of casualties, there wasn't that much fire, which I find interesting. Come on. Come on. And we have rallied immediately. So, 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 so. We're going to move this way, slow and steady allegedly wins the race. Whether that is true or not is a completely different story. So these have shouldn't have anybody overlooking them, but we have clearly seen that there are. So this team is going to get up and going to start moving this way. So what I want to do with them is I want to move them here and hmm, get up to here and then take this position. That would provide a perfect overview of the southern emplacements and maybe even reinforcements they're going to send. Over here, they cannot move. Yeah, they, they can see from there. Right, okay. Third platoon. This is second platoon. What is third platoon doing? I believe third platoon was moving up to take... Well, these positions, but after that... What did we plan for them? I think they're just following through. So let them follow through this way. An HQ element would also be following suit. Now, we want to get our fire support group over yonder and over yonder. So, let us do that. And this is our first platoon. And we can go to ground immediately. So, that's perfect. Uh-huh. Right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna move one. We cannot move up this turn. We cannot move into the stream. So they're still gonna be sitting there, but next turn we're gonna move up here. Right, and that is gonna be our first platoon. And actually that concludes our Abel's Company advance. Over in the center. Let us split the man. Ah, I see. I uh, didn't mean to do that, but okay. So we have exceeded our movement allowance, but that is fine. We can move up to these two positions over here. We'll move up here so we can strike that away. Now we need our. Lieutenant. Move it. Mm-hmm. 
And go to ground, please. So, these two men are fine. Over here, do we have elevation change? We do not. And go to ground. So, Bakaj is gonna be shielding them a little bit. Uh huh. Over here, we have to separate this advance. So, this is our first platoon. This is just weapons, right? Foxtrot. That's fine. So, first platoon is gonna go this way. This way. Okay. Go to ground. And this way. Wow, that's a lot of firepower that just been thrown our way. Okay. So. A section here with MP18. I'm sure they have more weapons. Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe that is the... This is gonna be deadly in such close quarters. Bloody hell, right, okay. <laughs> that is not gonna be good, is it? Right. Let's get our HMGs online. Are you gonna go to ground, man? That's a third platoon there. This is our first platoon. Where is the rest of the third platoon? Right, over there. Okay. The rest of the third platoon are gonna move up. <sighs> we really want to get our mortars over here. So let us do so. I know it's a bit of a trek. But we want to get our mortars where they can provide good supporting fire. And that is it for Foxtrot, or for Fox Company. Now over here, let's keep on moving up. So, first platoon of, what was it, Golf? Yes, Golf Company is going up north with the HMGs and HQ element support, of course. Yes, indeed. While our mortars are gonna be making trucks that way. Over here, let's disgorge our cargo. And move up so next turn we can actually get our at least one of our mortars online. That would be good. Right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. These men got shelled and gone to ground. Ah, I shouldn't have moved. Right, okay, that's not good. That is not good. Right, we'll, well, we'll move that officer down again. Who is this? A Lieutenant Watson. Well, Lieutenant Watson is gonna move down again, but for now, these men are pinned. They have no eyes. Well, they kind of have eyes, but they cannot shoot that far. So that's golf done. Let us ever so slowly. Is this truly unoccupied? <laughs> so we are either gonna end up holding this position right now, or we're gonna end up with a wrecked Sherman. We're gonna end up with a wrecked Sherman. Yep. I knew this was too easy. I knew it. Right, okay. We just ate.
They have a Panzer Shrek as well. Right. Okay. Two Shermans down. Hey, Zafod. How you doing, buddy? Long time no see. I hope you are doing well. We are just uh, squandering our Shermans fry this moment. But I hope that your day has been better than this. <laughs> uh, yes, so we only have two Shermans left. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Right. Right. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, that was unexpected, but you know what? I'll take that. We have taken out three of their men, uh, but they do have Panzerfaust, so that is not really that great, is it? That is a little bit better. Yes, indeed. Right, well, they're pinned. I'm sure they are running out of men by now, because what we have eliminated... Was it seven men? So they probably only have three men left. I uh, hope you feel better. Thank you. I do feel a little bit better. I'm still very, very tired, though. But I do feel uh, a little bit better. Thank you so much. Hydrating, and I do need uh, quite a bit of rest. <laughs> so... Uh, that is a problem, though. Right, well. Do we have anybody who sees anything? Not really, no. Not really. Uh, Zafod says, if you want to check weapons ranges, etc., the game comes with an equipment encyclopedia reference in PDF. Uh, yes, indeed, and the PDF is actually pretty cool. Uh, so, they have ve vehicles and weapons encyclopedia, so these are for vehicles, aircraft, heavy weapons, and artillery. Uh, which does not include any handheld weapons. However, if I'm not mistaken, I am just trying to press random buttons. Uh, no, not the parameters data. Was it a 4? Yes, it was a 4. This has all the details we need. So, Panzerfaust, etc. And actually, what would be cool, effective range, minimum range... I assume this is in hexes, so... I wanted to check for the Panzerfaust 60, so let's have a look. I wish there was a search function, but Ctrl F would, of course, do nothing. And... Oh, this looks like... Right. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We are wanting to go to... Not vehicle. Huh. Hold up. Surely. There we go. Answer file 60. And there is our answer. I believe that is... Uh, no, that's crew. Huh. It doesn't have the range for the Panzerfaust. Well, that's not good. So, I I assume uh, the... If, because they have Panzerfaust 30s, I assume Panzerfaust 60s then would be 2 hexes range. Since... I have a feeling a hex is a 50 meters. And Panzerfaust 30 would be one hex range. But I might be wrong. It might be Panzerfaust 30 is just a little bit worse, but whatever the case is. Uh, right, we have. We have finished with our turn. Let's move on. Wow. 
A range is actually a property of the load. Right. You need to check the load of the Panzerfaust weapon and then check the range of the load. It does make sense, right, 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 okay. Which I think would still be in the same table, you just need to check the load first. What they carry, what type of charge. Wow. We are receiving extremely accurate fire from the mortars. As far as I'm aware, they shouldn't have eyes on us moving up, but they probably do. As Afford says, basically the weapon have, can have different loads with different ranges. I got you, I got you, absolutely. Uh, well, I, I suppose in, in terms of the things like small arms fire, like for example Panzerfaust 60, Panzerfaust 30, etc. one use weapons, it's not like they're gonna have different loads, right? They, if I'm not mistaken, they only ever had the same uh, kind of shaped charge. But I do take your meaning. Right. Let's attempt and squander our tanks. Once. Twice. Okay. And then three times. There we go. Right. Perfect. Well, at least our tanks were useful and did not blow up. Oh, snap. Immediately. Oh, snap, indeed. And they have bocage. Wow, okay. That is so not good. <sighs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we are on turn 3 out of 24, and for each turn played, we have eliminated one Panzer, but not from the enemy, from ourselves. Can I restart this? No? Okay. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay, I, I might be a little bit scatterbrained today. And I might not be playing optimally. But that is painful. I'm sure it is as painful to watch as it is ex to experience, but... That is very, very painful. Right. We shall endeavor not to do the same mistakes. You go to ground, my man. Oh, can you go to ground? You can if I press the right button. And you probably go to ground as well, because, well... We are getting very accurate fire here, right. Move it. Okay. You are gonna get up. And you're gonna advance. Wouldn't want to be in that last tanker's guy's shoes. Yeah, I, to be fair, I don't think he'll be in his shoes for very much longer, so... At least it's gonna be quick and painless. Yes, yes. With commanders like this, who needs the enemy, right? 
Oh dear, oh dear, right. Uh, Lieutenant Flahati, can you move up the... No, you can't, right. Can you move up here? You probably can. You stay here and then next turn you're gonna move all the way up. We really need to bring up our mortars, so please mortars. Please do move up. Now on the ground, no longer. Moving all the way up, get on the ground here. Let's start suppressing. Okay, disruption is good. What's this? Range 5. Of course we are out of range. It would make sense because these on-the-barrel grenade launchers were actually pretty piss poor in terms, well, of everything really. Yeah, yeah. I getcha. I getcha. You wanna shoot us? You know what? We can't move anywhere else, so let's go to ground. You are gonna go this way and set up here. We'll figure out what to do with the bazooka team in a moment. Mm-hmm. All we can do is go to ground. Yep. Go to ground, man. <sighs> All right. Let's endeavor and suppress them, shall we? Move up. Yep, I know. I know. Right. Might not have been the best of ideas, but... There we go, right. At least we've eliminated two men. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Come on. Move it. Move it. We'll be bold. Probably not the best thing to do with our HQ element, but we we shall be doing this like so. Third platoon. Third platoon. Where else is the third platoon? Is over here already, so... Oh, well, we're stuck in... What am I doing tonight? Oh my god. What am I doing? Right. Now, let's, let's just go to ground for now. We have time. We have time, so... Right. A little bit of supporting fire. Go to ground, please. You are kind of good here as well. Go to ground. We can start shooting, so let us start shooting. Meh. I have been keeping it. Ah, uh, thanks, man. But yeah. Thank you. Uh, but I do need to concentrate. I do need to play a little bit more careful here. After all, how can we maintain our elite professional status of streaming? If we don't play perfectly. <laughs> right. <laughs> or something to that effect, anyway. Uh, <laughs> this is... Uh, 
Come on. Ever so slowly moving up. I feel like our northern advance would be the most successful. Lost tanks not included. Okay, let's let's try and do probably should have kept them down. Mortars came from somewhere there. There are the mortars. There are the mortars, and that's why they have good lines of sight. Yes, yes, indeed. Well, I thought they might have some kind of a support group here, and yes, mortars would be perfectly positioned that way. Damn it. Okay, well. That is that. Uh, what can we do with that little guy? Well, nothing much, so let's just keep him out of trouble, probably move him up here next turn. Nope, move him up here, that's it. Uh, ready to transport mortars wherever they need to go, right? For now, though. Let's take some mortar fire. Only I had anything to take out those mortars, eh? What is that? You know, I thought Omaha Beach was bad, but this is almost worse. <laughs> we are losing so many men, it's ridiculous. I mean, okay, I'm not playing the best, but... We are still losing a lot of men. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right. You, Bazooka Man, you stay put. Actually, doesn't really matter, does it? Do they have eyes? They don't have eyes on anything, right? You go down, Bazooka move up. HMG get into the firing position. Right. You are disrupted. Looks like they are holding very advantageous positions. You would be very, very much correct, Zafod. They definitely are. Unfortunately, that was a pretty difficult advance uh, historically. And it is a pretty difficult advance here. For our troubles. Let's go. For our troubles, right, okay. I suppose what we need to do is move up north, but we can't, so what we'll do here is again eat probably more mortar shells. What I'm curious about is we had our 
sniper deselected. So let's try this again. Would have been nice to kill somebody, but it is what it is. Right, okay, so here is what's gonna happen here. We are moving up. You, man, are gonna go here. So you're third platoon. HQ element is gonna move up and hopefully not get eliminated. Let's go. And a rally. Our man. Not ideal, but at least they can shoot, right? What's going on here? X-Men or a lot of pinned men? How about we go and disturb those pinned men? And hopefully eliminate some as well. Yes, indeed, right. Over here. Probably overstuck in this a little bit, but we'll we'll work on that. We'll work on that right here. Mm -hmm. We are aiming that way, so let's aim that way. I just said, man, very quietly, rally up. Let's go. Wow, it worked. Maybe I should do that every time I try to rally, man. <laughs> Bloody hell. Can I actually move down south? No, I can't because, of course, and if I get up, I... Well, actually, hold up. We are on the ground. There is nothing here. Isn't it? Isn't it, um, isn't it movement cost infantry, six movement points. Do we get trail five movement points? Hmm. We should be able to actually move. So let's try that. Let's try that now. Get up, get shot, not move. But we are on a road. We are on a trail. We should be able to move down. But we can't. Okay. Go down again. We are... Just... Staying put for now. We are just staying put for now. <laughs> of course they're pinned. Why wouldn't they be? Right. Uh, best plans of mice and men. Best plans of mice and men. So they are attached to the company. And of course, where is our company commander? Captain Blair is all the way up north. What are you doing here? Was it worth it? No, no, it was not worth it. But... Thanks. Nothing else to add, just thanks. Thanks. Perhaps the number of men on the target hex exceeds the road movement limit. 
Uh, it would have said so, though. It would have said so, and it doesn't. So there are only th 15 men, and... Sh oh! You mean the trail can only support a certain number of troops moving on the trail, and every if it exceeds the amount, you basically have to move off the trail and use in the clear movement points, which is six, which is just one movement point above the five we had remaining, meaning that we couldn't have moved onto the hex with those movement points. I gotcha. I gotcha, Zafod. I, I, I would have wanted to see this represented in a hex. In um, hex information. So that at a glance you'd be like, ah, okay, I see this. We won't be able to move in. Unless this little hex in the... Not hex. That little X in the middle, this is what it stands for. At the top of the parameter data. Stacking limits. Ah, yes, a road 14 men. And of course, yes, you are quite right, 15 men here. So, yeah, that's probably what the X is for. It basically says, nah, -uh. And I can actually look it up. And that's probably exactly what it stands for. X. No, X is destroyed. That's not what it stands for. Hmm. I thought this was one of the terrain codes, but maybe I am wrong. I am wrong. Right, okay. Never mind, never mind. The point is, yes. Zafod, you are as always right. It is the X, yeah. X mark marks the spot. X means do not go there. There is no more road for you, my man. No, th that is good to know, actually. That is very, very good to know. Going forward, of course. Nothing to be done here now. So, on a positive note, let us try and oh. rally our troops successfully. We are a little bit... No, we're not that stuck, overstocked. We only have 10, 11 men here, so that's actually not bad. We probably want to get our... Yeah, our HQ over here and start putting fire down range. They're both disrupted, so they're just gonna sit and fire, like so. Over here is a little bit more complicated. We have one disrupted unit. Which I'm probably making a mistake here. I'm thinking of firing them, but usually the fire draws fire back and most likely are gonna pin our men. But let's try and disrupt this unit. No, uh, it, we didn't get pinned, so that is good. So this is what we are going to do. In that case, we are gonna move forward. With sniper rifles, yes. Yes, indeed. Sniper rifle, as everybody knows, is a perfect assault weapon because the higher zoom on a scope, the better you can see the enemy in front of you. Yes. Yes, indeed. So that's why everybody uses sniper rifles in the assault situations. Not. God damn it. To be expected. Uh, 
Oh dear, oh dear, Foxtrot company is finished, if I'm not mistaken. And by finished, well, actually not quite. There we go, another man down. Okay, that's good, that is good. Now the Foxtrot company is finished. Let us take our beautiful mortars and throw them at the enemy. Perfect. Mm. Mm. I'd like to think that they're a little bit too overstocked here, so maybe... Oh, did we just get a counter... counter-attack with the, uh... With a battery? I think we did. Ouch, okay. Maybe we should start suppressing them in that case, because we are pinned now. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Right. You... Do not go there. Ah, sure. What the hell? Let's get overstocked. What the hell? Alright, and do we... Lieutenant Watson moved up and has no movement points left. That is fine. Let's move up our HMG. And probably go to ground here. Start laying suppressive fire. Or suppressing fire. There we go. We have learned. We have learned from our discussion a second ago. We are able to move up. On a road. Without exceeding. Road stuck in limits. There you go. Slow and steady wins the northern position race. Okay. Are we done? It would be nice to assault, but six men versus eight men, and we are at half strength. Assaulting over the bacage is not gonna go well, so we are not gonna assault. We'll just sit here and uh, hope not to lose any men. SMG carbine, yeah, we are. We are here and we are not doing nothing. <laughs> okay. Opal three ton truck. Hmm. Yes, indeed. So they're probably the truck that tows the Puck 40. Oh um, yeah, do we? No. Right. Well, let's move up to the next turn. I'll move on to the next turn. So I think our next priority would be to start disrupting and pinning those mortars. Mortars are causing a lot of issues for us. Uh huh. Well, we are encountering their defense in depth position. Positions. I think we just lost our commander up in a golf company up north. At least, I think, was it a third platoon who was attacking through the corridor? I'm pretty sure they're gonna be pinned now for a while. And there goes our tank. Eh. 
as I was saying earlier on, that tank crew did not have boots for very much longer. I really should have been much more conservative here. This is... a mid-grinder. One way would be putting it. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Right. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay. Actually, it doesn't matter. You're gonna be moving through the cash, so, right. Move it. Come Move on, it. Abel. Are you not able to... So his second platoon, your second platoon. What is the matter, man? Are you so completely no. demoralized that you don't want to move? Surely, just seeing your comrades being killed left, right and center should serve as an incentive to move forward, right? Oh my god, right, okay. Okay. We are really reduced here. Third platoon. Let's have a look. Where is our third platoon? It's kind of everywhere. Move up. Go to ground. This really should be our assaulting squad. So... Let's attempt something akin to a move forward in an assaulting manner. So are you, actually. So you should also be moving up in an assaulting manner. Over here. Snipers remain put. However, bazookas should definitely be moving up forward. And let us let us spread the snipers around a little bit. Right, okay. Now Now we can do a little something. Captain Lankin, you are needed in the assault. Yep, I know you are an HQ element, but you know what? Nobody else seems to be doing anything useful, so you might as well be. What are we doing with you? Oops. What are we doing with you? If I can press the correct shortcut. With you, we shall be supporting and attempting. Uh, thanks for joining the stream's effort. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, man. Perhaps the situation is not as bad as it looks. Oh, I, it's probably worse than it looks. But thank you for your kind words. <laughs> have a good day and have a good evening, my man. See ya. The situation is definitely worse than it looks. So let us... get... 
that position suppressed. We are firing three tubes. Do bear that in mind. We have three weapons. It's not just one. It's a full squad. And they are disrupted, so that is good. We will... We'll try and keep them without firing, hoping, hoping that they're not going to get engaged and they're not... Uh, well, they, they would be able to rally, but I doubt that that is going to be the case. Yeah, so we definitely lost a commander here, and really, we have a lot of men. <laughs> we have a lot of men. Sitting, looking pretty, but at least one of them can start moving up. Ever so slowly, right? Now. We thought we have a lot of toys to play with. And maybe we were right, but so do Germans, unfortunately. Ah, uh, yes, well. HMG we could have assaulted. But seeing how they're supported by unknown number of men with the MP38s. Ah, uh, this is not gonna be good, is it? Is it? It definitely is not gonna be good, right? We are gonna be... <laughs> right. Maybe they can stay standing there? I think that might be good. Uh huh. I don't know. I am second guessing myself now at every single turn. Which is, of course, not good. Right. We have. A lot of men here. A great swath of men, one might say. Forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Forward. Okay. <laughs> right. We should really move off onto here, but we simply don't have movement points right now. So that is why we're just gonna shoot with everything downrange and cause no casualties. I reckon that 22 men with the commander even if one squad is disrupted, should do reasonably well against six men that are disrupted, even if we are assaulting over a bocage. Let's do that. 
Wow. Okay. We lost two men each. But they lost a Panzer Shrek, which is kind of good. But we're, we're just like finding out what type of weapons they have every single turn. Which is a little bit hilarious. But is understandable since they are behind the Bokash and shooting at us. And we are trying to keep our heads down. Yes. We are trying to keep our heads down for certain. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Captain Blair. Why is it that uh, you have no weapon again? I'm just wondering what's going on with you. How about you pick this weapon up and you shoot like a soldier you are. Yes, you, you reckon that you're in command of Fox Company? You don't need a weapon? Well, newsflash for you. You do. You really, really do. Okay. No valid... Oh, of course, of course. No line of sight. <sighs> Let's see what happens. I suppose the biggest problem we have here right now is that we have a lot of squads in the open and they're pinned and our officers simply cannot get them rallied our fox squad up north or was it golf uh, go um, not squad uh, company up north lost one of the officers and there is a bunch of men just pinned doing nothing. Which is also not good. Did we just eliminate somebody? Wow! Had a wonderful thought. And the thought, once we finish being pummeled, the thought is this. In the very beginning of the mission, I said, and I quote, but I paraphrase myself. We have 24 smoke! Let us not forget that we have to use that smoke! Well, guess what? We are not using that smoke, are we? We are not using that smoke. Also... Do we have... we probably don't. No, there is nobody with a radio, so we have no off-map support, but... Things like that. Ah, right. Things like that. Now we can go... Indirect fire. 
indirect fire. Smoke. And we can do this. We can't because we don't have eyes there. Perfect. Okay, that's what we wanted. That is what we wanted. And we probably want something like this even. Now that will work. Probably should have thrown something here, but whatever's, whatever's right. Lieutenant Brown, you are hereby ordered to move up, get down on the ground, and attempt Forward. to rally these men. Come on. And at least partially succeed, right. You men will go that way. Not ideal, that, is it? Not ideal at all. I know. I know you're exposed, but you gotta put down some suppressive fire on these guys. That is just... what? Over here. Perfect. Right, okay. Mm. We're trying to get Pug Gun really pinned. Uh, disrupted is good, but pinned is kind of better for assaulting purposes, of course. All right. Let's see what is happening here. Yes, nothing much is happening here, I'm afraid. Apart from needlessly losing men. Can you go down? No, you can't ride. Okay, in that case. Yeah, we need to take this ridge here. So, let's just slowly move up. We'll take ridge here, ridge here, and ridge here. And then we can start suppressing that position and have a bit of a overview onto the approach from our west as well. <sighs> Here, though. Lieutenant Flaherty. Third platoon. Charlie Company? No, all, all, all Able Company. Bazooka team, that's a specialist weapon. 
that's what we want. This is our third platoon. So, 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 so. Actually, Larity as well. Did, did they just... Oh my god, right. This, this is a mess. Let's just move up. Let's just move up. You go to ground as well. Can you? Ground? Okay. Right. Here we go. Here we go. So, uh, this is third platoon. You are moving up. Yes, indeed. You, man, you are pinned the crap out of. So, Let's rally go. up. Yes, I know. I know. You should be able to do this at least. All right, over here. What I'm a little bit worried about is that our support positions are a little too far and they're disrupted. So when they're disrupted, our sniper rifles don't work like sniper rifles. They work like normal rifles and I would really dearly love for them to work like sniper rifles. Because then we can at least start to hope taking out the officers or just any man in general. As the things stand right now... Move it! Come on! Yeah. As the things stand right now... We are not able to do so. Okay, this could actually be good. So we can utilize this sniper rifle. So they have two squads. But more importantly, it looks like they have a higher ranked officer there, so if we can take him out, that would be fantastic. So let's try and do that. Well, we don't know if we caused any casualties, but we know that we didn't take out the officer, at least. Over here. Who would have thought that rallying men in between two bocages in the middle of the road would be a hard position or a hard proposition? Yes, indeed, right. And over here, I believe we have moved. Yes. 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 Well, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You haven't moved at all. And you, even your one man, in perfectly good health. And you should be using these 
bocages to move up this way. Might work, might not. We shall see, we shall see. Over here, we are keeping our... What is his... No, that's maximum range. This is the command range. Yeah, within, within our assaulting kind of company, so... Let's let's move them up this way. That is a good move. Ah, yes. Well, well, well. That's because we don't have eyes there, do we? We don't have eyes anywhere. We are causing some pins, which is good, but... I just kind of feel like with the tanks, with losing the tanks in the very opening, we have totally sabotaged our chances of having a successful assault here. I was too eager to bring up the tanks before knowing full full German strength and their positions. And I think the issue that I had was I mean, apart from using excuses like I'm tired, etc., etc. The issue I'm having here, or I have had in, in the beginning, is that so far, in the previous missions, the game has taught me to move up with the tanks, and they will solve all your problems. Right? On Omaha, in Utah, we just mowed down through the beaches, up the hills, through the positions, and we have absolutely obliterated them. Here, there is a little bit of a dogged German resistance with Panzerfaust, Panzerschrecks, 
even a puck that is very sneakily dug in there that is just they are dug in really well also is that a ger that's a german there that is a german there wow okay well you know what there are only two men so how about How about you kick him out? Fantastic. Yet we lost two men. But that I can live with because we annihilated a small annoying part of the German force. Now here things are looking up well th they're kind of would be looking up but we only have four men left so really nothing is looking up here at all come on let's go come on come on let's go yep okay well time to go to ground then Right. What we're gonna attempt and do with this squad, we're gonna move up here and move into this bakash, hoping, beyond hope, that there is nobody there. And then maybe we'll try and take out that pinned squad, unless we're gonna get pinned in the meantime. Right, okay. We are ever so slowly moving up. Here. <sighs> oh yeah, look at that. More Germans. More Germans. Yes, indeed, right. Now oh, you've shot already. Well then. Well then, well then, well then. Perfect. Pin in. Now we have loaded white phosphorus otherwise known <laughs> as smoke in uh, world war 2 so of course what we really want to be doing with our white phosphorus is shooting our men with it right because we need some kind of cover yeah uh <sighs> Let's shoot uh actually you know what? Let's yeah, let's shoot this way. And let's shoot this way. And let's shoot let's shoot uh, this way. Providing a little bit of smoke cover for our men here. And then what we can do is we can get up and rush like absolute mad lads forward. There we go. You stay put. You move here. And you... That's not what I meant to do, but okay. Uh, you get up. Yes, and you go down now. Uh-huh. 
So smoke is affecting us, so <laughs> right. We'll do this. Mm-hmm. Probably can't. Yeah, it's bocage. It is bocage after all. Well, Forward. Lieutenant Riley, can you oh. rally the men? You most certainly can. Never had a doubt in my mind that you would be able to rally them. Because, of course. Because, of course, you can. Actually, I want to concentrate here. Our assault here completely stalled. But in a second, in a second, right. Mortars, we need mortars. These mortars have been doing nothing the whole time, right? They've been doing absolutely nothing, right? Okay, you. I know you are pinned, but you can try and shoot at least. Lieutenant Adams. Forward. Unpin Forward. these men. And do not let him get pinned again. Right. That is not actually too bad. That is not bad at all. Yes. Ouch. That is fine. As long as these men don't get pinned, we might actually be able to assault next turn. That would be really good. Really good. Undescribably good. So it would be. Now, what I like seeing here is that even though we have some disrupted men, some undercrewed men, nobody is pinned. We're gonna slowly advance. And actually, you know what? Let's get our El Capitan and let's move him here. Start rallying these men. This this is like he has to be within the distance to rally them. Maybe organically or maybe with pesticides, but they are getting rallied. Now you men can ever so slowly start moving up what is happening here we really want to suppress this this is a bunch of men that are screaming out whoops they are screaming out to be suppressed forward forward like okay never mind let's go Hey, they rallied. Hey, we lost. <laughs> well, they're not going to be rallying for very much longer because they have just lost the lieutenant. That was absolutely brutal, right? You are pinned, but you are not. So how about this? One, two, three... 
go down. We might attempt to assault a number of positions, or we might move in here and assault them from the rear. <sighs> you know, I'm doing this to relax. This is extremely stressful. This is extremely stressful. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, yeah. So, our previous turns have been pretty poo, and I'm putting this very nicely here. However, I feel like we are setting things up in the north slower than I would like. We are finally having some traction in the center. We have sustained tremendous losses here, but we, we are pushing forward. We hopefully gonna sustain the momentum and assault. And we are finally starting to get our men together to assault the southern sector as well. And this uh, nice squad is kind of moving up in order to assist as well, even though they have no officers left. But I, I feel good about this. I feel good about this. Let's have a look. Let's have a look if the Germans can spoil our good mood for this turn. That's a lot, lot of rallies going on. I mean, we're pinning them back down, but... Disrupted. As long as we don't get pinned, we can still attempt to assault or maybe even move into the Bocage area to have a little bit of a better position, but I'm not even sure if... Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, they're not forgetting to give a lot of love to this stack, or at least some love. Because that prevents them from rallying up organically. If they get shot, basically. That's what I didn't need. Two men lost and pinned. Well. There goes our hopes. Dreams, nay, ambitions in taking the center. With not an officer in sight and pin men everywhere, that would be that, wouldn't it? Yes, we have plenty of turns to do so, but actually, just, just for giggles. Oh, look, we are at minus one, one, what? We are at minus 110 at least right now. <laughs> to get these men back, we have lost 109 men. Four vehicles too. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Okay. First things first. Let us attempt to rally up. Move it. Move it. Succeed at rallying up. Forward. Let's go. Move it. Fail at rallying up. Not suppress. Okay, okay, okay. Get up, please. One. You down. Shoot. It's fine. You'll be able to shoot them in a second. Let's take a slightly more reserved approach here and we're gonna move up here first before assaulting in in the meantime we can do this over yonder to move or not to move that is the question right so we don't have enough movement points to assault Let's go down. Let's shoot. As much as I want to overstock this, uh, it, it behooves us not to. We're gonna move in here instead. Right, okay. Over here, we have a bunch of men. We have eyes. You know what? Go to ground. Okay. Okay. So that is our northern adv advance. Slow and steady here. Come on. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Right, so what we want to do here is this. You are disrupted. You're going to be shooting in like so. These men are going to come out and get immediately pinned. Forward. Okay. So they will assault in a moment. Uh, what I do want to do, however, is do this. So they have shot what they needed to shoot. Assault. 
We have killed two of their men. We got pinned in the process. That was worth it. Over here, assault. And finally, we are taking that position. That is really quite fantastic. I really like seeing that. And you wanna what? We, 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 can we? No, we can't. So in that case, get up, move, go down. Rally up. Oh, that was, that was a beautiful thing. Wow. I did not expect that to actually work. You are gonna be ever so slowly moving up. You are pinned, so you can pin or attempt to pin somebody in return. You are... Just do this. Suppress them. Okay. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. You can start pinning these men. I don't quite like the way they look at me. Right, well that is our south, so that was Able Company, wasn't it? Able Company, indeed. Our Fox Company is gonna get our officer move up. Let's go. And unpin. That is really quite good. That's actually perfect. Now they're pinned. They can't really shoot anyone, can they? And shoot. Okay, what can they see? Again, I feel like maybe screen in the south. That's 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 what they can do. Let's do this. One, two, three. Okay. I have a bit of smoke screening our advancing force from the west. And a bit of smoke here, hopefully obscuring some vision, and then we, we should be able to move into it. <sighs> so I said that last turn oh, we were looking up. I want to say this turn we were kind of where we're slowly grinding our way forward. This is not to say that we're gonna win this scenario. We lost too many men for that unless we can annihilate a lot of Germans. But we, we are starting to kind of... I would like to say turn the tide. Well, we'll see how that works.
that is not good. Our southern position losing men and getting pinned. Seriously, why are you providing them cover? Are, are you insane? Mortars, stop doing that. I should probably set them to hold fire. Those particular mortars, so that they do not do opportunity fire. That would be a smart thing to do though, so why, why do it today, right? Why do it today? Do not get pinned. Whatever you do, do not get pinned. Oh my god, seriously? Okay. So, first things first. Move in. Second thing second, I suppose. Right, you are gonna... Actually, no. Come on! Rally up. Rally up. Rally up. Nope. Excellent. Draw out the opportunity fire. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're on the ground. Get up. Go up. Go to ground. Assault. And Let's go. rally. Perfect. Okay. Now that is actually going pretty well. Maybe we should have done that first. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Right, okay. I feel like these men... These men... These men can stay here. Okay. These men can move up here. One. These men can stay, so let's get these men up and go to ground. We are overstocking this a little bit, but we can now free up Lieutenant Moore to move up and support the assaulting troops while Captain Hamilton is gonna attempt to rally our support. HMG that is attached to, well, it's attached to H Company instead of, so Hotel Company instead of Golf Company. But he should have a better ability to rally them up, one would hope. Anywho. These have moved up, and these have shot up. Oh, right, okay, well, since you're disrupted now instead of pinned, let's change your load to normal load, and let's start shooting properly. 
Oh, fantastic. We have taken out a vehicle. They are also pinned. Now, isn't that beautiful? Ammunition expanded. There are quite a few people congregating there, so let's uncongregate them, shall we? There we go. A little bit more pinning, if I don't misclick. You are 1st Squad, 2nd Platoon, and you are 2nd Platoon Lieutenant Blackman, so... Lieutenant, it behooves us to support your platoon, man. Slow and steady. Allegedly wins the race. That's what I hear, anyway. That is what I hear. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Uh-huh. Right. Captain Blair, you are needed by your man here, if only you had enough movement points. <sighs> right. to do but to move up. Mm-hmm. Five men disrupted. So we shall do a couple of things. The first thing we shall do is here. Is here. We're gonna assault. I did not expect them to achieve much. They are pinned. However, we have killed their leader, so they will stop unpinning every single turn. And we will assault over the bocage. Not really causing much. Let's go. Come on. Move it. Yeah. Right. I was hoping for a an unpin there. Maybe we should have moved up into Bokash. Oh well. Oh well. All right. I suppose live and learn. All right. Over here. You stay put. We don't want to be moving you. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Wow. We must be eliminating a lot of men, because usually they do not get demoralized until they lose quite a few men. So that is actually really good to see. 
I am really, really happy to see that. Again, slow and steady here. We are hoping to take this. Not next turn, but the turn after next. What's happening here? Third platoon. I'm gonna get up. And they're gonna move up. And move, move, move. Somewhere, no! Okay. Anybody else? Oh, yes, I forgot about you. Oh, that's a, such a beautiful pin. Why did I not do that earlier? A mad dash forward. We're gonna try and take that pug gun out. That is a huge pain in our behind. And if we can take it out, or in our front, really. If we can take it out, then that sort of relieves a lot of pressure from quite a few different units. <sighs> I know they're pinned. I know they're shooting at their half, half their strength, but half their strength is still a lot. So... That was unfortunate. That's the end of that idea of taking out that pack gun. Ah, beautiful pins all around. These disruptions, not pins. Yeah, I could have used that not being pinned, but yeah. On a positive note, there is only one man there. From the looks of things, so let's just assault him. And lose two men in the process. Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. That was a pretty stupid thing to do, to be fair. We have fire support groups, we have everything, and yet we decide that, you know what? We are just gonna move forward and assault. Ah, oh, yes. Why not? Why the hell not? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. Would have been perfect if we didn't get pinned again. Would have been nice to be able to kill the... <laughs> oh, have you seen that? Yes, snipers. Snipers, 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 right. I mean, they... If they rally, they will just move in, or this unit can move in, but damn, this would have been good. Actually, look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Uh, right. Let's 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 do this. Let's get up. Can you move? No, you can't. Ah oh, well. Ah oh, well. Very close taking this. The southern objective. The first objective to be taken. Maybe. Maybe. We shall definitely see about that. <laughs> Ah, man, that would be sweet, and that would be really, really sweet if we can do that. What is going on here? Puck is a pucking. Oops. Wrong button. Go. Come on. Forward. Right. Well, that that was not to be. Right. Since you can't do anything and you can't do anything, you move up. Why did you not move up? You move up as well. It's a shame we don't even know if we're causing any casualties here. But let's do th this then. Well, we've caused one casualty. Move it. Mm hmm.
Yeah, this northern objective seems so close, but yet it is very, very far. In the center. Yeah. In the center, we can do nada. Let's go. This is kind of like a seesaw, right? Couple of turns where like everything is bad, we're losing the game, then hey, everything is looking up, maybe, maybe we can do something, and now it's back down again because every single assault has kind of stalled apart from the southern objective. And we're losing more and more men. Not as much as we have lost in the beginning, for sure. Because Germans are also getting exhausted. But... Still... A fairly steady stream of losses every single turn. I don't want to jinx it, but maybe this enemy's turn it was a trickle of losses rather than a stream. But we still, I think, lost two men so far in this enemy's turn. I think that would be a three man now. We are almost at a half may, half may, halfway Forward. mark here. Fantastic. I should really stop misclicking, right? What can we see? We can see that this unit needs suppression really badly. Nine man, five one, right, okay, okay, okay. These men are gonna go here, these men are gonna go here. We have finally taken our first objective. What is going on here? Right. Rally the men. That is what is going on here. We have seven men pinned. We can actually attack. We can storm the enemy position. Fantastic. Would have been nice if we could do it again, but we can't because we are on the ground. But that is really, really looking up for us. Right, in that case, you are staying put for now. You are both getting up. You're gonna move north. Hopefully not get killed. Go down and rally. Fantastic. You... You stay put. You are gonna move over. Yeesh. And go to ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Now they're both pinned. Right. That is perfect. Now one man pinned is Forward. definitely Forward. something that we can work with, or one squad pinned. Or at least I would like to think that we can work with that. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Over here. Yes, we want to advance, but we can't. Let's shoot them in that case. Nope. Nothing or nothing. Oof. Right, okay, maybe we need to retreat. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Mm -hmm. Move it. Move it. Move it. Wow. Okay, well, means that we are we are killing men, so maybe there is only one man from the MG42 gun team. So they are completely demoralized. That is really, really good. Yes, we have taken them out. Perfect. Okay. Salt. Oh, beautiful. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Right, you get in there, man. Maybe we can start assaulting next turn, eh? Right, let's let's get a bit of a stackage going there. Okay, well, North is looking up again. <laughs> oh, famous last words. Right, over here. Over here. Any type of indication would have been really nice, but we have no indication as to what is going on there. We need to start softening this northern position to the south of it, at least. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, well. Let's see. What can possibly go wrong on the enemy's turn? We've lost one man. Two men down. Three men down. Four men down. Five men down. 
Yeah, it's it's back from trickle into a steady stream of casualties. Back from a trickle into a steady stream. Yeah, this was not such a great idea, to be honest with you, this move here. Ooh, six men down. Seven men down, wow. Halfway through. And we have lost. 145 men, two officers and four vehicles. We're still at major defeat, but we're now only minus 90 points. Wow. Surely we can salvage that. Not. Forward. Forward. Oh, finally, a rally. What? Okay. Here is what's gonna happen soon. Who do we have here? We have 1st Platoon and 3rd Platoon. That is very unfortunate. 1st Platoon... Well, who is down? So, 3rd Platoon, we need a leader from the 3rd Platoon, right. Lieutenant Moore, you are up. You are up, my man. So, you are gonna go... You're gonna go down and you're gonna rally your man. Fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Right, first platoon. We are all gonna get up together. No, we're are we gonna get up? I don't know. I, I don't know if we're gonna get up. Here is what's gonna happen. We're all gonna get up together. Gonna move down the road and we're gonna strike this position. Strike the crap out of that position. As a matter of fact. Ever so slowly moving up. Nobody has eyes here. Well, how about we get up? And then next turn we will attempt to move up. Get up, man. Get up. Giddy up. Right, 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 right. Yeesh. Well. We are gonna take the northern point. Even though we sacrificed way too much for it. Was it worth it? Probably not. That was worth it, though. At least we eliminated somebody there, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Ouch. There is a method to my madness here. You probably are thinking, what is he doing? Throwing so much into already pinned position. Well, let me tell you. I don't know how many men are there. But we have one, two, three, four. Oh, we actually have 15 men here. We're gonna assault and gonna succeed at the assault. And they can't do any further assaulting, but they can fire in. And actually, they only have one man left, which is really, 
really nice. Over here. Up. Up. And away. Okay. Okay. Mm. That is fine. On the ground you go. Forward. Forward. That puck gun. That puck Forward. gun. Finally, we rallied up. Right, okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Now, what is going on here? We have a bunch of pinned men, we have a bunch of disrupted men, but we also have a bunch of men who are neither pinned nor disrupted. And that is really quite good. Now, you can move there. Yes. You are both gonna get up. And move up with this unit. He is gonna go here. On the ground. We're gonna be rallying people up. We are definitely gonna be rallying people up here. People lost. No people found, but a lot of people lost. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? You can pick up a gun. And since you can never be disrupted because you are a lieutenant how about you're gonna try and take out the enemy lieutenant as well now wouldn't that be a sight wouldn't that be a sight to behold yeah. a bit of a bit of suppression never hurt anybody literally in this case Well, that was interesting. That was very interesting. Oh, did you see that? Did you actually see that? I want to say, and that is how you take out an Oberlutnant or Oberlutnant. But that was just lucky. <laughs> that was just lucky. However, we have taken two objectives. It behooves us to have a look at the victory screen, and it's at minus 60 now. So really, we just need to eliminate 60 more Germans, and we are back in business of minor defeat. Yes. Yes, indeed. Well... Hold those tubes and they can do nada. I gonna stop firing with this man because with these men, should I say, because I want him to get unpinned. Whether that is gonna be successful is yet to be seen. Only one man left. Well. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's just start retreating with these men here. Let's just let's just do this. Hoping to get them naturally rallied. Maybe we'll we'll send our platoon captain, our leader, Captain Hamilton, uh, that away next turn and attempt to rally the man. I I don't see that happening, but we'll we'll keep our fingers crossed. One man down. That's two men down. And everybody pinned and not stuck. Was that another man down? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, yes. What a disaster that Southern Assault turned out to be. Wow. What a disaster it turned out to be. We have... It's a first platoon, isn't it? Third platoon as well, all from Alpha or Apple uh, companies. So, Captain Lankin is from Apple Company. So is Lieutenant Riley. So let's get our captain uh, moving this way. Yeah, she shouldn't have anything left, so that's good. I mean, that's not good, but that's fine. <laughs> that's good. Okay. And now we exposed more men, so I think that's just one man left. Ah, seriously? Shiriaisly, right. Can we get a rally here, please? Let's go. We can. And actually, I am just looking at the time, lovely people, and I see that it is way past my bad time. So, we're gonna leave it at that here. Let's just save. Saving is good for the soul and, of course, for your sanity as well. I am hoping to eliminate all the Germans and still maybe get a draw here. Uh, maybe not. We will continue this tomorrow, so I shall be... Tomorrow is Wednesday. If this is Wednesday, I will be continuing this tomorrow. <sighs> Fingers crossed we can salvage maybe a draw from this. It's not gonna be a win, but there are a lot of lessons to learn. Of course, the biggest lesson is pay attention. Do not just move troops because you think you need to move troops. Tough battle, but very enjoyable to watch. Cheers. Uh, thank you so much, Casey. It was back and forth, back and forth. We have lost way too many men. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about back and forth towards the objectives, of course. We are starting to root out Germans, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if uh, this is going to be enough. But we'll, we'll, we'll hope to salvage a, a draw tomorrow. Whatever the case is, Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for so much for watching. 
and I shall see you tomorrow at 1900 hours GMT, that's 7 p.m. if you don't speak 24 hour language. Until then, do gaming guys, not war. <laughs>